You can make it as an environmental engineer. There's a growing demand for people like you with the right training for this challenging and rewarding career. The job description for an environmental engineer depends on the company or organization that is hiring. It's a relatively new field, so this is a great opportunity to get in on the ground floor and enjoy the great earning potential that can really help you make it. Environmental engineers are responsible for overseeing their employer's impact on both the environment and human safety. In any operation where a process or procedure may affect the surrounding community, this key person makes sure that the employer is acting in the best interest of the public. It's an investment that safeguards natural resources and positions the business as a better neighbor. Environmental engineers may be found in companies producing alternative energy like solar power and geothermal technology. It's certainly an important job in nuclear energy and air pollution control. And the need for well-trained people is critical in water treatment operations and conservation. Uh, my name is Ryan Copenhaver. I'm employed by the R.H. Shepherd Company. I graduated from Hanover High School in 2005. I then went to Millersville University for a degree in industrial technology and a concentration in computer-aided drafting. After graduation, I got a job here at R.H. Shepherd. Water is very important in our manufacturing processes. We use it in coolant for machining and for parts washing. Here we have our mechanical vapor recompression evaporator which provides a very efficient means of recycling our water and is very environmentally friendly. I love my job here at R.H. Shepherd. It, it has enabled me to make a very good living and has been very rewarding. Waste management such as trash removal and recycling facilities are also potential employers for those who want to make it in this exciting and evolving career. There are courses designed to take you in the right direction along this job path. It might require a passion for chemistry and biology that will lead you to work in water treatment or waste management. You can build on that knowledge to develop safer, cleaner processes for manufacturing plants or design and implement improved methods for disposing of highly hazardous materials. You could be working with or for a government agency or find yourself in a high-level position in private industry. I'm Steve Douglas. I'm a senior environmental engineer here at BAE Systems in York, PA. Um, I went to school at Penn State and got a, a BS degree in uh, environmental resource management. Uh, after I left uh, uh, Penn State, I got a job at a local municipal wastewater treatment plant uh, as an operator and also as the uh, representative to the township, for the township to, uh, uh, with industrial users of the sewer system. Uh, I was a consultant for a short period of time until I came here at BAE Systems where I'm uh, basically responsible for all environmental compliance, whether it's uh, uh, air, water, hazardous waste, non-hazardous waste. Here at BAE Systems, uh, I've been fortunate. Uh, I've made out very well uh, financially and, and professionally. Uh, uh, I've gotten to work with in various areas of environmental compliance, uh, uh, wastewater treatment, engineering, uh, groundwater remediation, just to name a few. It's a career design for someone who cares about making it while making the world a better, safer place. And as for job opportunities, it is projected that the growth rate for openings in this field will increase by 31% for 2018, based on approximately 35,000 jobs in place now. Median pay for an environmental engineer is currently about $81,000 a year, with those at the top of their field earning $113,000 a year job availability, great earning potential, and the opportunity to make a positive impact on your community are certainly good reasons to consider this career choice. With the right educational choices after high school, you can make it as an environmental engineer.